Hi, I'm Deborah Mybrig and I'm with Alberto of Tasca del Marita in Sicily. Uh, so tell me a little bit about uh, wine from Sicily. What are the styles we can expect? Uh, Sicily is a uh, quite big island for us, so we have a lot of different territory and different styles of wine. We have one coming from a Vulcan ter territory, like in a really high altitude, uh, like the ones that come from Hetna. Uh, with the Norello Mascalese, and they are quite elegant, so not really rich of color. It's more like the color of the wine is more like uh, Pinot Noir or Nebbiolo. Then we have uh, other territory, like in the uh, uh, seaside for, that are really well known for dessert wine. And we have Malvasia delle Lipari or Zibibo Pantelleria and there are white wines and uh, really sweet and uh, really nice. In the center of Sicily we have wines like our more uh, full body wine with a uh, big structure and uh, if you know it's really, uh, really difficult to, to let made a really easy communication. We have more than 40 different grape varieties in Sicily and then more than 40 different territories. So it's really full of different uh, uh, attitude and uh, territory. That, that's why it's amazing. And, and how did your family get involved in winemaking? Uh, we started in 1830 in the center of Sicily so far from the sea in a high altitude and that was a really good point when the, we had no technology so to control the temperature during fermentation I would decide uh, low temperature and a really high exclusion between night and day was really uh, it's the, was the only way to produce elegant wine and good wines and then so we continued uh, since uh, a generation and so it's uh, a long time ago <laughs> what are some of the interesting up-and-coming indigenous varieties that you're working with? I think that, uh, that now all the focus is on Nerello Mascalese in Etna. It's doing a really amazing job and with, uh, sometimes in blend with Nero Cappuccio and sometimes Chalot. Uh, for the white grape uh, I can suggest the Grillo. Uh, Grillo is a uh, typical grape variety that was used for Marsala. Now, there is a new generation that is uh, trying to uh, vinify it in a really steel and white, uh, white way and it is giving us a really good results. The, the more when it is uh, growing in a high altitude in a, or in a special places. And how do you think wines from Sicily are different from the wine styles coming out of uh, Italy? Uh, you know what, Italy is uh, it's amazing because uh, we have a, it's a really long and we have the influence of the sea by the both sides and Sicily is a small island in, uh, in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea and so what, what uh, different soil, we have uh, clay soil or uh, volcanic soil um, uh, or soul, sunny, so all these kind of difference when you are uh, when they are well kept and when uh, you have a lot of uh, like uh, um, vigneron that works in the vineyards in a really good way like since many many generation uh, it's, it's something that became magic so we have a lot of differences uh, it's not really easy to, to, to communicate them but it's amazing word when you when you jump in it and some favorite food matches uh, even there is so strange, you know, our, uh, as Italian we are so a little bit crazy. If I produce a pizza, I always think that I have to produce the best pizza in the world. So <laughs> it's always uh, one to each other. We, we really fight to, to try to produce and do the best things that we can. And we have a lot of different culture in, in Italy of food. Each region has its own uh, traditional and culinary traditions. And, and we all keep it. And if you go all around uh, Italy, you go inside and in at home you eat in a really perfect way like a Star Mission restaurant. And uh, so that's why it's crazy. I mean, I think a culture of wine and food in Italy is something that is so special. And that's what makes Italy so special. Thank you so much.